Yo, what's up everyone? This is Will Fox, and I'm back with another Under Night and Birth piano character theme breakdown. Um, if, you're ne if you don't know who I am, I have a lot of Under Night and Birth piano tutorials and remixes on my channel, and I have other things, so if you're into that, consider subscribing. I'm making this because I asked some of my patrons what character themes they want me to break down, and I'm starting with Aurier, and I have a few more coming uh, in the future. So, if you want to help support, uh, there'll be links in the description, and I give out extra files and things like that, and it does help me continue to do what I love doing. Uh, the soundtrack is actually amazing, so I'm very glad to, to be analyzing that. So, this is Strictly Impurity by, um, by Reito, um, uh, Aurier's theme from Undername Birth. The first thing I do is I think about what key we're in, and this song is in E. So, um, if you're comfortable with playing an E and seeing the E all over the keyboard, playing chords in E and whatnot, uh, it's going to make playing this song a lot easier. However, oftentimes in music you do go into other keys, and you do bar from other keys uh, all the time, so we will be if you at least are very, very, um, if you have a strong foundation in E, you'll instantly see when things are from somewhere else. It's not just random notes in the void. So I encourage you to either self-explore in, in the key of E or look up some YouTube videos. Um, that will help. Also, um, we do, I always pick, uh, excuse me, I always make a note of what relative minor we're going to be into. So E major, the relative minor is C sharp um, minor. Um, and that's always your six. So a lot of the times my perspective or the way I'm thinking about like how I'm approaching notes and what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be thinking about uh, those are my two anchor points, either E or C sharp. So um, that's very important, and there's some melodic minor and things like that coming like here and there. Uh, I'll I'll come up. I'll I'll mention that when it happens, but it's not super important to be that deep. So if you're learning this song with me, like in the video, feel free to like um, go through the chapter select, and maybe you get stuck somewhere. I strongly encourage that you like get really comfortable in E. Okay. So that's step one. So the first section of the song goes like this. I usually think about what chords I'm doing first and then I think about the melody along with it. I think about the bass and chords. So the chord progression is you start at your four and you play major. So you play A major seven to this G sharp um, minor seven. And then this is when it goes into other keys. You don't need to know everything that like it specifically is doing. What I remember is that my left hand is going to chromatically go. It's going to start at A, and we're going to chromatically go down. We're going to touch every note uh, and not skip anything. So one other thing is that um, I usually leave out the bass in my right hand, and I just let this. So. Instead of playing like this, I like just do it where it's like, okay, that's covered, freeze up my hand. Those are the chords. So um, get comfortable with that, and the melody is just sneaking in those chords while playing the, the melody. So you're like, And you just do it twice. Okay, so I'm now gonna break into the second half of the intro. It goes like this. Okay. 
So all I'm doing with the left hand is I'm just pedaling like C, C sharp, and B. So that's pretty simple. All I'm doing is filling it, filling it out. Um, even when I make sheet music, don't like, um, my left hand is just like a, a, my take as to what to do. The core idea is just to like represent that and represent that. And then in the right hand, I'm playing like this, uh, I'm playing E. And this completes a C sharp uh, uh, <laughs> minor seven. <laughs> this completes a C sharp minor seven. So I'm using the seven here instead. That's a, just the voicing I choose. I, I personally just like how it sounds. You can do whatever you want. But um, I'm going from here to B. And that's why I like playing the B right here because it's like, it's like, it just fits into your hand. So you just play the um, melody. So you're like always using like this E, like, like that. Uh, and then this line, oh. So it's like just using uh, G sharp uh, minor. And then you're doing like a C, you're going up like the pentatonic scale from C sharp. And then And then you just land on B. Okay, so um, try getting those two sections of the intro together and then you should be set. Okay, so for the first verse, it's, a, it's not the most tricky part of the song, it's not too bad. So the way that I do the chords in this section, uh, the, it's just how I interpreted it. I just kind of, I'm just doing uh, the C sharp and I'm kind of doing, I don't know what you really call this. So I don't see the software on screen actually. So I pretend I'm playing like a B, but instead I'm playing C, <laughs> C sharp instead. And when we do it the second time, I substitute, uh, I substitute that for um, for actually playing B. So I, I that's just how I remember it. And the melody, um, it's kind of just centered around C sharp. Again, and then you do it again. Um, at this point, I'm like, okay, just break into like the next C sharp. And this is why I always uh, anchor because I immediately am like, okay. just no C sharp <laughs> I just like believe and then now we go to this A uh, seven so it's like A G C sharp um, and then you're gonna do a two five one so you play this D sharp diminish you can play seven Uh, one thing to note is that this A sharp and C or B sharp um, uh, is kind of like from the major scale. Just remember that you're going to be using instead of. It's just a different way to approach the same thing. That's what I mean by melodic minor. Um, you could do research on that if you're curious, but melodic minor is just a minor key and your six and seven are um, major. So that's basically all the same. And um, this is a unique ending. Which is pretty cool. So we go four, five, one. So F sharp, G sharp, C sharp. So I make a mental note that I'm going to be jumping to A. C 
So I like playing like, if you notice in this hand, because it, it, it basically implies that we're now playing like C sharp major. But it's just with one note, so it's like a little subtle thing that like gives it that characteristic. So that's the first verse. Okay, so now for the pre-chorus. It goes like this. Okay, it's a short section, but we focus on the chord progression is A, G sharp, and then a C sharp major, and then F sharp, G sharp, and then A6, and then uh, B, and then this G sharp major. So um, this is an interesting movement. So you have B, and then that's a G sharp major. So I focus on like this. It's like it's like chord inversions. It's just a chord inversion. Um, so, and then it leads into like the, um, like the next section. Um, so during the chord progression, you're just, again, playing the melody. Uh, So this is interesting, this is like a F sharp minor to a G, uh, excuse me, to C sharp major. So that's interesting. Um, and then... That's just fun to do. Um, optional, I, I just like doing that, like this arpeggio. Anyways, that's a pretty short section. So now, here comes the epic part. This part is super elaborate. It's not super elaborate, but there's a lot going on in this song, in this part of the song. A lot of movement, constant movement with uh, the chords and the bass. You're just going to be moving all over the place, and it's really going to test you on how well are you comfortable playing notes in C sharp minor? So, you basically do that twice. Uh, I'll break it down. I'll break down that half first. So I'll break down this section um, by bass, then I'll add chords, and then I'll show how it is with uh, the melody as well. So a lot of movement, check it out. be a good idea to just play that out just like that, maybe slower. Um, and I'll play chords with it. So it might be a good idea to just play the chords with it. Um, it's quite a lot of chords to say all at once, so I'm hoping you saw all that on the software. So I'll play the melody with it. Okay, so the second time you do it, um, 
It's mostly the same, but it ends a bit different. So here we go. Excuse the key bump. Let me do that part one time. Oh. Okay, so that's a huge section. That's a huge section. That's like the meat and potatoes of the song. It is, it took me so long to get that down. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, we're gonna finish up the last section and then we're gonna go from there. The last section starts from F sharp. of like and then I'm just like <laughs> I'm just fooling around at that point um, the last section starts on this F sharp you can do it like that too so a lot of different ways you can do it you can go to this G sharp um, And then this one you play D natural instead of D minor. So watch out for that. <laughs> okay. Anyways, that about wraps it up. Thank you for coming. Um, just real quick before you go, uh, I want to do more breakdown videos. And I'm doing them based off of requests on Patreon, and then I publish them to YouTube. So I do want to prioritize um, people that are actually using the material and whatnot, because it's like I know how to play almost every character theme on piano, but I want to definitely um, target uh, whoever's trying to learn all these things. So. Um, with that being said, just uh, contact me if you have any questions or any concerns, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you. <laughs>